Hello and welcome to this review of Gallo Family Merlot. Uh, I already took the, the uh, cork out of it. The rubber, rubberized stopper is what it really is. Okay, you probably know about Ernest and Julio Gallo. Found, founded in 1933 in Modesto, California. Still owned by the Gallo family today. It's not a corporation, it's a family owned business. If you get on the Gallo family website to show a photo, here's our family. <laughs> we own it. All right, Gallo Family Vineyards, Merlot, California. I bought this at Walmart as a good price. Um, it's pretty simple, really, it says. We're an American family that's been making quality wines for American families since 1933. For four generations, Gallo Family Vineyards has been dedicated to giving you the best taste in wines at the best tasting price. We call it our best taste promise. And I don't know how you would prove that. I'm not going to go worrying about it. So 1.5 liter bottle, vented and bottled in Modesto, California. Now, I'm going to taste it and then see if it matches up with these tasted notes on the back of the bottle. All right, I don't want to skew my view of it, skew the view. 13% alcohol, okay. Sharp looking bottle. It's got the rooster, the gallo. That's why the Gallo or the Gallo beer from Guatemala is sold in the in the United States as Famosa. They can't have the rooster beer, the Gallo in America, because there's already that wine. Alright, so they put the kibosh on that. Well that's a deep burgundy color. Look at that color. Wow, it looks like a you have a you remember 1983 uh, Buick Regal with the burgundy top? The burgundy uh, vinyl top and that burgundy crushed velvet interior or the burgundy vinyl. That's what that looks like. Now, the website is nice because they, go, they have some pretty good tasting notes. they got recipes for each wine. They've got, like, pick the, your choice, the white, the blush, the red, sweet, dry, whatever. Okay, so there's a little wheel on there, sort of like a... A compass and it gives you the dryness, the sweetness, and the, the, all of these things. So um, they do a good job. It's uh, tannic. You get a lot of red grape skins. It's meaty in the nose, but it tends to be that kind of problem. Uh, that kind of product. It's smooth as heck. And it's a dry product, mostly, not totally. It's got that little velvety mouthfeel. Get a lot of great tannins. That wouldn't appeal to you, then you're probably not going to like this. I know people that are white wine only and this kind of thing. I've had people tell me, I'm thinking of a lady in New Orleans who told me, if I drink that, it makes me gag. It's so, you know what I mean, tannic. But I guess I kind of like them across the range, the light to the dark. So it's really nice to me. Um, I don't see what you could, what you would complain about uh, if you go to Walmart and see these. The price is so incredibly low for this big bottle. Um, I think it was. Um, I can't even remember. It was about oh, about seven dollars fifty cents, something like that. <laughs> Maybe less, something. Six ninety nine. I don't remember. It was some good price. And it's a good value. It's just red grapes. There is some beet. You say beets. Pickled beets. Okay. There's some beet thing going on. Which is not offensive. Okay, let's see what they say on there. It's all about taste. It blends flavors of black cherry. Go along with that. Ripe plum. Yeah. Accept that. And hints of oak. Yes. It's aged in oak barrels, small wood. Can't complain. Score. 
Go with a 90 out of 100, an A minus. Getting into that excellent range. These people have been <laughs> they've been making wines for 80, 86 years. Yeah, 86 years. I think they know what they're doing. Yeah. Just think what they're gonna do for their 90th anniversary. I bet there's gonna be all kind of special edition Gallo wines, huh? They make some good brandy too. So uh, Les Ailes Les Bon Temps Relay, an excellent wine from Ernest and Julio Gallo. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.